Nigeria unfortunately confirmed its first case on 27 February 2020. Since then, we have seen the number of confirmed cases rise slowly. By the morning of March 29, 2020, the total confirmed cases within Nigeria has risen to 97. Regrettably, we also had our first fatality, a former employee of PPMC, who died on 23rd March 2020. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family in these very difficult times. We also pray for quick recovery for those infected and undergoing treatment. As of today, COVID-19 has no cure. Scientists around the world are working very hard to develop a vaccine. We are in touch with these institutions as they work towards a solution that will be certified by international and local medical authorities within the shortest possible time. For now, the best and most efficient way to avoid getting infected is through regular hygienic and sanitary practices as well as social distancing. As individuals, we remain the greatest weapon to fight this pandemic. By washing our hands regularly with clean water and soap, disinfecting frequently used surfaces and areas, coughing into a tissue or elbow, and strictly adhering to infection prevention control measures in health facilities, we can contain this virus. Since the outbreak was reported in China, our government has been monitoring the situation closely and studying the various responses adopted by other countries. Indeed, the Director General of the Nigerian Center for Disease Control was one of the 10 global health leaders invited by the World Health Organization to visit China and understudy their response approach. I am personally very proud of Dr. Ekwazu for doing this on behalf of all Nigerians. Since his return, the NCDC has been implementing numerous strategies and programs in Nigeria to ensure that the adverse impact of this virus on our country is minimized. We ask all Nigerians to support the work the Federal Ministry of Health and the NCDC are doing, led by the Presidential Task Force. Although we have adopted strategies used globally, our implementation programs have been tailored to reflect our local realities. In Nigeria, we are taking a two-step approach. First, to protect the lives of our fellow Nigerians and residents living here, and second, to preserve the livelihoods of workers and business owners to ensure their families get through this very difficult time in dignity and with hope and peace of mind.